So I've still got to take care of a few small details on my bonnet or hood to get it done. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick for edging with round bar. Coming up. So I would like to stiffen up this edge. You can see it's quite floppy. <laughs> so I would like to put on a piece of quarter inch round bar. That will help a lot. Maybe you can see it as well. This line is not nice and fair and sweet yet. So I first need to just clean that up a little bit. I think you can see it better if you look like this. You can see there's a bit of a bent there and some straight sections. It's not a nice flowing line. <laughs> I'm just going to use the grinder with a flap disc and then I'm going to try and smooth this out by eye. So if you just sight along the line you can actually see the high spots. You can see for instance right here I still need to remove a little bit. There's a sort of lower spot if I put it like that. So out here I need to also take off a little bit more. Maybe here as well. Just to get this line to flow nicely. So this curve is starting to look much better. And if you really want to fine tune this you can make a tool like this one I have here. I've actually got several of them. They're quite handy to have. In this case I think I've got some 60 grit, just glued onto a simple base with a basic handle and now you've got a <laughs> shaping tool. You can make them to any size you want. Okay, I think my curve is pretty sweet and remember by adding the round bar that's going to actually in the end help out to help. <laughs> to smooth out the small discrepancies. So I think we're pretty damn close. So getting this gap and the curve exactly the same on both sides, that's pretty much impossible or very difficult. But in all reality, it doesn't matter because I mean, nobody can see both sides of a car at the same time. As long as it's kind of the same in symmetrical when you look at it from the front if this gap is a little bit smaller on one side of the car than on the other who's gonna know i'm gonna take my bonnet half off and stick it on the bench it'll be just so much easier to weld on that round bar edge <coughs> right so my six more or quarter inch round bar needs to go on like that I need to tack it on all the way and it can sometimes be a bit of a fight to line it up and make it nice and easy and smooth. <laughs> so to ease the pain of holding it in place I've made up this little jig, just a piece of flat bar, I drilled a 6mm hole there, cut it open, so my piece of round bar fits in like that now. On this side, I hold it on a piece of flat bar to provide a spot for clamping it. So now I can clamp it on and it will ensure that my round bar sits exactly the same all the way along. The spacing will work out very nicely. So I'm just going to clamp this on now. Like that, holds it very nicely for giving it a tack. I can move it on and work my way along. So here's how my jig works. Let's imagine this to be the sheet metal. And here's my round bar that I want to edge it with. So if I freehand it, it might sit there, there. We're not exactly sure. It might not be consistently the same. But look what happens if I use my little jig. Because now the round bar is being held like that. And if I now move it in, like so, remember it's clamped there. So I will get consistent results every time because it will end up sitting exactly like that every time. 
Pretty awesome, huh? So this here is the folded section on the front of the bonnet. So I'm just going to line up my round bar until it blends in right there very nicely. Uh, I'm going to tack it this close to the camera. So I'll quickly weld it on. And then afterwards I can just use the grinder to just make sure this line flows nicely, that it blends in. I've made a start. I'm starting to work my way along. You can see how nicely my little jig is holding it in place. So I tack this one, and then I move my jig up, and so I work my way along. I can even do this one as well, it's clear. Right, now I can move this up. So I find the best way to do this is to just clamp your jig on nice and tight. And then you tap it in until everything is nice and flush. So the 15 or 30 minutes that you spend making this little jig is so worth it because it makes this whole business go so much quicker. And the great thing about this is that it ensures consistency. Um, the amount that your round bar sticks out past the edge of the sheet metal is the same right through. Sweet man! Now I've just got to clean it up a little bit with the grinder and then I'm done. So while I've got the bonnet here on the table, I've still got to do some plug welds along this edge. So this flat bar that runs along this edge is currently just being held on by the bolts from the hinges. So I've drilled some uh, quarter inch holes, six millimeters, and I'm just going to plug weld through them to create a more permanent situation. <laughs> Man, these plug welds look so cool, they look like rivets. I'm going to leave them exactly like that. Let's, I'm just going to zoom in so you can check them out from closer. Look at that. Awesome, man. And the last thing I want to do to this bonnet while it's still on the bench are the stitches. Lucker man, my sewing is done. <laughs> so all my edges are done on this side, which is the side where I hinge. I've got this flat bar. It's plug welded from that side. Down here I've got my quarter inch round bar all the way along. So that's braced and stiffened these edges very nicely. Awesome, so I'm finally done with this thing. <laughs> Except I've got now, I've got to repeat everything I did here. On the twin brother that lives on that side. Right, much later and this bonnet or wood is finally done. I'm so happy. It works very well. So uh, the only thing that remains up here now is this here. I still gotta finalize this business. Thanks for spending time with me out here in my forest shop. I enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one.